Welcome! Here at FreeQMS, we're always working to standardize our modules as much as possible to make everything as easy as possible for our users. Some of our valued users gave us some great feedback early in 2021. They pointed to the Kappa module activities, shown on screen here in this example, and specifically to the information tracked at the top of the activity. They said, hey, why do Kappa activities have a start date and a close date, but audit activities don't? Our only answer was, well, it would be a lot cooler if it did. So let's jump over to the audits module and click an old example we have, 2020 internal audit ISO 9001, chapter eight, operation. This is an audit example we created last year as part of a tutorial on performing ISO 9001 audits in FreeQMS. This is a fairly simple audit where we're only auditing to just chapter eight of ISO 9001. But that doesn't matter. Our new activity date fields are going to come in handy whether an audit is big or small. Let's click Audit Activities at the top. This audit has two activities, a nonconformance and a recommendation. We can see the recommendation is still open, even though it was created October 7th of last year. Although it would always be a best practice to close every audit finding before its due date and as quickly as possible, we aren't quite sure that always happens in the real world. Let's click this activity now. We can see the familiar audit activity form has been revamped. The top section, which contains core details about the activity, now has the same spacing as Kappa and supplier activities and includes start date and complete date fields. This is going to make tracking when work was done much easier. We can see here this record was created October 7th, 2020. Let's pause and discuss the difference between a start date and a create date. A create date is just an electronically generated system date stamped by FreeQMS. This is the date the record was created. Its only purpose is to show when the FreeQMS record of an activity was created, but until now, due to the lack of a start date, it also either had to symbolize the start date of remediating a finding or had to be explained away each time. A start date, on the other hand, is meant to be the day work on this finding actually begins. This could be the same date as the create date, or it could be a year later, depending on how busy your quality department is. We're going to talk about a close date versus a complete date. Same difference. The close date is the day the record is stamped as closed by FreeQMS, which happens automatically when you update an activity to closed through the edit menu. A complete date, on the other hand, is when the remediation work for this finding was completed, or at least that's how we envision the best practice. Your QA department might even have better ideas. We can see this record, which was an audit activity to update the organization's approved supplier list, is a little overdue. We'll edit this record to give it a start date and a complete date to reflect when work was performed. Let's click Edit Now. For those of you familiar with Kappa and supplier activities, this form should look very familiar. We're going to say this work was finally completed this week. Let's put a start date of last Monday and a complete date of today. That way we know when the work was performed versus when this record was completed. Now there's one thing left to do. Let's update the status to closed to generate a close date and hit save at the bottom. Great, now we've updated our start and complete date and we've closed the record. We can see at the top that we can now track this information individually. This brings FreeQMS closer to parity with famous record management systems like SAP. In this case, we have a complete date and a close date that are the same, but that may not always be the case. If your QA department has a requirement that activities are reviewed before they are closed, then these dates may very well be different. We hope you enjoyed this look at new features in the 2021 version of FreeQMS.